The Last Buccaneer by Thomas Babington Macaulay. Read for LibriVox.org by Tricia G. The winds were yelling, the waves were swelling, the sky was black and drear, when the crew with eyes of flame brought the ship without a name alongside the last buccaneer. Whence flies your sloop full sail before so fierce a gale when all others drive bare on the seas? Say, come ye from the shore of the holy Salvador or the gulf of the rich Caribbees? From a shore no search hath found from a gulf no line can sound, without rudder or needle we steer. Above, below our bark, dies the sea-fowl and the shark, as we fly by the last buccaneer. Tonight there shall be heard on the rocks of Cape de Verde a loud crash and a louder roar, and tomorrow shall the deep with a heavy moaning sweep the corpses and wreck to the shore. The stately ship of Clyde securely now may ride, in the breath of the citron shades, and Severn's towering mast securely now flies fast through the sea of the balmy trades. From St. Iago's wealthy port, from Havana's royal fort, the seaman goes forth without fear, for since that stormy night not a mortal hath had sight of the flag of the last buccaneer. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.